There's something I'd like to show you. Something you might enjoy. Something wrong, Mr. Ventura? Take care now. Bye bye then. Yes! Oh my god! What is up, my fellow gig workers and side hustle extraordinaires? One and only Man Dasher here, and we are back. We had a pretty bad weekend. Uh, mentally, it just wasn't hitting. Both days were because of Instacart and me breaking my stupid rules. So I took a market basket one. I forgot what the other one was. Uh, I think that the items just weren't available for the customers. Whatever it may be, bad weekend in total. Uh, but we're back. It's very important when you do this line of work to know it's a new day, it's a new week, it's a start over, start fresh. Don't carry the baggage from the other day or the other week into your this new week or this new day. Start fresh. Make sure you start fresh. So, we aren't gonna be doing Instacart. Might not do Instacart all week because we have to kind of have like a reset. Uh, I do want the Dash Now feature. I don't think Platinum is actually that required for you to be able to make money. Uh, but I do want to have the Dash Now feature because it really does make a difference when you're switching zones. If you go out of your zone and then you want to be able to take you know, orders in that new zone, that's the reason. Not saying that I can't make money from it, but I'd like to have it back. We're going to see how long it takes me. I think we're like 30 orders behind before having the 100. Uh, and I think we're at like a 67% as the acceptance rating goes. So we're going to take as many DoorDash orders as we can. I don't want to do take every order challenge right now. I might do it on the weekend because I have more time to do it. But during the week, I have three hours. So we're going to take as many DoorDashes as we can. But I'm going to have Uber Eats open. If I get a bang on Uber Eats, I'm not going to deny it. So needless to say, Go make some money. Well, apparently I can't DoorDash because everything's grayed out and I'm not used to scheduling my shifts. So we're gonna have to be stuck with Uber Eats and I'll probably have to turn on Instacart as well if I can't even DoorDash. Uh, I went ahead and scheduled what I could for the rest of the week so that maybe this won't happen the, the rest of the week. Uh, but yeah, this is a big pain in the butt. This is why I need to get uh, Platinum back. It's not because I think that I can't make money when I'm actually DoorDashing but it is because I need to be able to dash whenever I want because of the schedule that I have. So hopefully it will get the dash now uh, if somebody leaves the area soon, but it's prime time dinner, so that's probably not gonna happen. We'll, we'll see, I'll be monitoring. All right, we ended up getting the dash now feature as soon as we got into Burlington and DoorDash hits us with the five banger to start it off. Woo, good thing we got this, man. I was getting a little worried we weren't even gonna be able to dash, but at least we were able to dash and we get a certified banger. Let's go, let's go to teriyaki. dropped off that order uh doordash had told me that it was gonna take 23 minutes for nine miles so in total it would have been like 46 minutes of driving plus like three minutes of picking up the order i was i picked up the order there and back took me 32 minutes i don't know what's with the gps <laughs> doordash but it ain't right um we are kicked out of doordash because we only had the dash now until seven o'clock uh, so I had to pick up this Instacart because I didn't get any other orders. Um, we are pretty much right at Target anyway. Uh, it's five items in and out of this. It's 5.7 miles, so I think our average is going to be pretty good. So let's just go over to the Target, and then hopefully the uh, Dash Now feature will be back up and running when we're done. Bucks in under an hour, not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna try to turn on door or see if I can get the dash, 
I say turn on DoorDash like I can actually dash now, but I can't. I... Whoops. But I can't because I don't have the dash now feature. Um, so let's see if we can get some dash now going and some Uber Eats and see what we can do. But so far, not a bad start. And by the way, my number one unbreakable rule, I cannot break the rule for Instacart is one shopper. I cannot stress enough how that rule cannot be broken. One shopper. No two shoppers, no three shoppers, none of that bullshit. And I think I'll be fine. <laughs> but I'm not breaking that rule. I'm not breaking it. Okay, as soon as we get back to Burlington, the Dash Now feature opens up and we're able to dash. Seems like a lot of people might be scheduling their dashes and then not showing up for it because as soon as 7.30 uh, hit, that's when it popped up. So maybe it's not as bad as I think it is, but I don't know. We'll see. We got this Sweet Greens order uh, for 9 for 6.6 .6 or something. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. It's not the best order, but I'm going to take it. that order and I pick up a market basket Instacart order even though I literally keep telling myself don't pick up market basket it never works out this one was just too juicy it was 28 almost 29 dollars and I'm literally less than a mile away from there it is one shopper this time one shopper if I can't do this stupid market basket order in less than an hour I need to just quit Instacart that's that's how I'm that's how I'm thinking about it right now one shopper though <laughs> hopefully I didn't make a mistake please let's go over there <laughs> great the customer was super responsive super you know understanding what happened but at the same time nothing was scanning nothing like I okay Instacart has this new rule where you're not allowed to add a new item because of like they're I guess they've been having a lot of theft or whatever it may be but you're not allowed to add a new item so for instance the cherries she wanted which were $3.99 a pound they were marked as $4.99 a pound. I couldn't change them and she couldn't add them to the order. So I'm like calling support, blah, blah, blah. I finally like were able to like figure it out. So that, that should have been like a 35 minute order and she was literally right down the street. Um, but we did it an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a half an hour left. If we can get another order, it'd be great. Uh, but at least we did it. I just dropped that off. Uh, it was at the emergency room for some lady. She was so sweet. She was like, I made I made sure to leave a 20% tip. You got it, right? I'm like, yep, thank you so much. And then on our way to drop this off, before I actually dropped it off, we get hit by a super banger last minute. So we're gonna go over to Feng Shui and pick that up. Man, Uber Eats coming in clutch at the last minute here. Let's go! All right, just dropped off the final Uber Eats CD and we are done for the night. It's 9.32. I think we averaged like $29 an hour, which is great. Uh, all things considered with that market basket order. Uh, and I didn't let it get to me. I didn't rage quit today, so I'm proud of myself. 
Uh, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, I really, really appreciate you. It's good to be back doing videos. Uh, I'm gonna be doing videos all week, and uh, hopefully we can get this door dashed up, but uh, as of right now, it's not really affecting us to not be able to make money. Still making money, even with DoorDash and without DoorDash, so. Is it actually worth it to get DoorDash back to Platinum? I don't actually know, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see how the rest of the week goes. I hope you guys had a great start to your week, and I hope you're having a really profitable week going forward. I'll see you again, Mad Dasher out.